Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Q at HP Discover 2014. Brought to you by HP. Okay, welcome back everyone. Day one wrap up here, full swing actually, because we're going to wrap up early, get to the keynotes and the sessions. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. Here in theCUBE, our flagship program, we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. Dave, um, day one, great interviews. Had some big names on here early. All the usual suspects from services, getting in the trenches, right? Getting all the, getting all the data. And from the folks on the front lines, from Scott Weller's organization, Break and Fix and Services, which is a more complex business every day, to David Scott, who's the star of the show. I mean, you got to say, storage continues to be the center heartbeat of the innovation. All the flash, software-defined networking, storage, all coming together. Bethany Mayer involved in F NFV. Um, Tom Joyce building from the ground up, essentially convert systems. System, just a great action. Yeah, well, I think, um... Today was the uh, kind of the enterprise group day, really, for, for us, John. Tomorrow's cloud day, <clears throat> and it's going to be interesting to hear. It's a different format this year, John. A number of the, uh, of the events have taken this format. We saw that with IBM a couple weeks ago where they had the keynotes in the middle of the day. Personally, I like the morning keynotes. It gets everybody charged up. It, it gives people a Kool-Aid injection of the messaging, and, and then the cube can comment on it, which is why I like it. But, so we're, we're going to hear the keynotes now uh, in the sort of midday here. I think you're going to hear a lot about the new style of IT. I think you're going to hear a lot about the cloud. Uh, and then of course you're going to sort of run through the HP businesses. But um, as I say, new approach to communicating to the audiences. I personally prefer when everybody's coffeeed up, caffeined up in the morning, first thing, give them that messaging injection. What so, do you think? So, so my take is this, what I'm hearing, well we haven't gotten to the cloud, this tomorrow. Colin Mahoney was here from the big data. HP clearly is focused on the recovery. Okay, but there's two things going on that I want to highlight. One is, Meg Whitman, this is sources that I have close to the company, and some of the folks talk, told me off camera, is absolutely committed to making sure that the existing divisions within HP do not get sideways and they continue to perform on their business metrics. That's a full commitment to the old school HP, I say old school, the HP, the big division groups. At the same time, you're starting to see the emergence of what I call the elite forces, nimble teams that can jump quickly. What Tom Joyce has done with Converge Systems, really good move, counter some stuff we've seen with VCE. Modern specialized markets that will either be the foundation for the transitional markets or just new markets in and of itself. Bethany Mayer's NFV is a great example. You're talking about a multi-billion dollar opportunity that she's capturing, and she's essentially agile. She's starting with a clean sheet of paper. She gets to go across HP and, and, and cherry pick people, technologies, to put together for the first time a viable offering around NFV, which is the telcos. That is a significant management change from HP, where in the past, things were going to the divisions R&D, comes out of R&D, it's a slow process, it's a slow boat to China, so to speak. Really, really, that's different. What you're seeing now, Dave, is two groups. The divisions, large-scale divisions, and these nimble teams. And I think, to me, that is something that's new that I'm seeing. I've been seeing it happen for a while. I didn't, wasn't sure it was kind of a bake-out of a new opportunity, but clearly, cloud, these markets are moving way too fast. And I think what's happening internally, you know, I haven't confirmed this yet, but I'm just reading the tea leaves. You're starting to see, these SWAT teams going, going out there and attacking these markets. I think you're absolutely right, John. I mean, I think, I think Meg is looking at this saying, wow, <clears throat> you know, she's trying different things. She's, she's moved Vecti into the enterprise group. Uh, she's shuffled the deck a little bit in cloud. She put Martin Fink in the HP labs and brought him into the cloud as well. Uh, I think she's looking at I I initiatives like Vertica saying, okay, we need to incubate fast growing uh, uh, parts of the organization because we can't acquire companies, or we've chosen not to, they could if they wanted to, but they've chosen not to, because they're still paying down the debt. And so, the challenge that HP has that, that you really don't talk about much publicly is how do they grow organically? So the way they do that is exactly what you said. I think you're reading the tea leaves, that's very intuitive of you. We so see you got Vertica, you got, you got Bethany Mayer's you know, Network Functioning Virtualization Group, you got the Cloud Group, uh, H HP, Helion, Helion, I can't ever say that word. Um, and those Helion. are, Helion, those are growth initiatives inside of HP that are organic. 
Um, and it's hard for a 112 or 115 billion dollar company to grow organically with no acquisition juice. Well, I'm going to be out tomorrow, Dave, so I'm going to be coming in later in the afternoon. I've got to fly out tonight for some meetings. Uh, Facebook has their uh, press event, which I'm going to be attending. It's always good to get off the record. I just tweeted on Facebook. I'm trying to make it. I love Facebook press events because it's like they allow people to connect and share, which is Mark Zuckerberg's constant uh, line that he always says about why Facebook's important. So they do share some off-the-record information. And then we have some uh, events tomorrow with Nimble. It'll be great, exciting to get out there. Nimble Storage, uh, quick plug for those guys. Um, and then coming back here, I'm going to miss the Vecti interview. I'm looking forward, looking forward to hearing how that goes from you. Chris Sealand, um, great lineup. And then in the afternoon, I'll be back in the afternoon for Moonshot at around 12, and then, uh, in the afternoon, we got Cloud, Bill, Bill Hill. Tomorrow's Cloud Day. Tomorrow's Cloud Day here on theCUBE for HP. Really an important area. I think HP's biggest opportunity is in the three areas we talked about, Dave. One, these new SWAT teams like Bethany Mayer, Tom Joyce. You have the cloud and big data. And infiltrating cloud DNA and big data DNA through the divisions is their big opportunity. So that should be a great day. And just in general, the Internet of Things, Dave. You know, Google bought a satellite company for half a billion dollars today. That's big news. Um, you know, this is just more and more changing of the guard. And I think this is the market we're living in. Well, you brought up Internet of Things today in a couple of the interviews, and I think that's, you know, it's almost like HP has to leapfrog mobile. I mean, obviously they do mobile. You know, the enterprise you know, mobile is driving a lot of new applications, but they're not playing in the mobile device market, certainly not in a big way. It's almost like they have to leapfrog that trend to hop on the new mega trend. You know, some people call it fog computing, industrial internet, internet of things, internet of everything. Uh, it's not a big part of HP's marketing though, John. Uh, do you think they can catch that wave? I think they can catch it. I think what HP's all about is being relevant right now. I think in mind of the customer, they got a lot of things going on that has been distracting them on the, on the internal front. I think Meg has done a good job with her messaging and cleaning up the, the nonsense around the sides, around you know, bringing the messaging internal, controlling the message, and really focusing on the road to recovery. And I always say you can't hit icebergs if you don't sail where the icebergs are. So I think you're seeing the ships turn away from the, the North Atlantic into the warmer waters. I think that's her job. I think on the product side, HP is smart to execute with the cloud, smart to keep that consumerization supply chain business that they have, and I think that, and if you look at what Michael Dell's doing in particular, he's going private because he wants to retool mobile. And I guarantee you that Michael Dell comes out guns blaring with a mobile device of some sort. The consumerization of IT has to go up the stack to the edge of the network. That's Internet of Things, that's mobile device, this is the future. So to me, Dave, that fundamentally is the case. Now, will that translate into stock performance? Will that translate directly into better business performance? I think they may, may take more bleeding before they recover. That being said, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. The question is, how patient will Wall Street be? Hey, the HP stock's doing great. You know, it was a dog of the Dow, trading in the low 20s, now it's up, you know, up 30% plus this year, you know, the past 12 months, rather. And uh, so, I think for a company the size of HP, there's so many things that HP can do to drive, drive valuation. But there's a huge upside. I mean, HP, you mentioned Dell before, they're in the sort of a similar boat. They're both trading at 50 cents on the revenue dollar. A company like HP should be trading north of 1x revenue, don't you think? And so, there's a lot of upside to HP, just in basic blocking and tackling. So, looking forward to tomorrow. A lot of flash talk today, we well, didn't touch on that. Well, but, we, got, uh, we got a lot going on, we're launching the crowd chat tomorrow, we're going to make a general availability announcement of that tomorrow. Look for the news on the, on the internet, we should have some stories on the web. I'm um, talking to journalists and briefing journalists all day today. Uh, we're sending out a release tomorrow, the crowd chat will be launching. Um, and also, Dave, just I think in general, the Cube is on, on a run. We're in the middle of our summer tour, we got a lot more action going on. So tomorrow should be a great day, um, and we'll be on crowdchat.net slash hpdiscover. Go there, that's where we're going to be hanging out. You go there, you sign in, and be part of the conversation. LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, come there, and we're crowdstorming, as they say, Twitter storming, crowdstorming. We will be in there sharing the conversation. Certainly, it will be active during the keynote. So at you know, three o'clock, you're going to start to hear the keynotes. Just so watch here, we'll be broadcasting them live, go to the web, get on CrowdChat and join the conversation, we'll be certainly be online. So that's a wrap from day one from theCUBE. Stay tuned for the keynotes and continuing wall-to-wall -wall coverage of HP Discover. This is theCUBE with John Furrier and Dave Vellante. We'll be back tomorrow morning, first thing. Take care.